So unfortunately, you're using Sense of Empire version 2 and the dreaded left shifter fails. And you're like, no. Since you're running one by this point, you're gonna have to make a decision. Do you want to stick to your small chain ring or your large chain ring? So say for example, you use a 50, 34 like me and a standard 11 to 28 cassette at the back. If the terrain you have to ride in is super hilly, I'm talking like 7% and above, I'd recommend you use your 34 chainring, as if you do the calculation, a 52 chainring paired with a 28 cassette will only give you the same ratios as a 34 19, meaning that you will lose out on your 4 most easiest climbing gears, which let me tell you, sucks. So say you ride up your local climb at a steady 15 km per hour. I would not recommend using your 50 tooth as any other gear other than your 28 tooth cassette would be considered grinding. For me at least. I don't know, maybe I'm just slow. However, if the ride home is rather flat, you can actually get away with using a 50 tooth chainring because at 90 RPMs, a 5011 will be able to do 51 km per hour versus a 3411 which in order to do 51 km per hour you would have to be spinning at 130 rpms which is like brrrr, which yeah is not very ideal but in a more real world situation 35 km per hour will easily be achieved with a 3411 so at the end of the day it's up to you on which chain ring you want to use I do recommend using your smaller inner chainring as there's nothing more painful mentally or physically knowing that you picked the wrong gear and you're having to grind up your heel at 20 RPMs. Okay, moving on to how to actually fix your front derailleur. Number one, unclamp your cable since, well, it doesn't work anymore. Number two, tape it to your frame. Now, most likely when your shifter fails, your chain will be on the small chainring. First things first, ensure that you have one of these plus head screwdrivers. If you don't, try flagging down other cyclists to see if they have screwdrivers. Don't worry, most of them should, as most multi-tools come with them. Don't be shy, it's better to be embarrassed for 5 minutes than to be in the wrong gear for the rest of your ride. Now, if your chain has dropped inside, first of all, your front derailleur probably wasn't even adjusted properly, but secondly, turn this outer screw clockwise to tighten it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Once you've tightened it enough where your chain doesn't fall while pedaling, decide on which chain ring you want to use. The big one or the small one. Again, I recommend the small one. If you want to use the big chain ring, shift onto your easiest gear at the back, then tighten this inner screw. Again, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Now this screw gets quite tight two thirds of the way through, so you have to press down and turn pretty freaking hard. Tighten it until you no longer hear any rubbing noises pedaling. and you're set to go home. Do note that it will not be perfect and you might hear some rubbing at your hardest gears. Now if you want to use a small chain ring, shift onto your easiest gear at the back, then adjust the outer screw until there is barely a gap. Then pedal and go through the gears to ensure there is no rubbing, or at least not much rubbing. Then yeah, you're good to go. Just know that these two screws kinda contradict each other, so if you find that you can't tighten one screw anymore, try loosening the other. Now hopefully with this video, you'll be able to reach home safe and sound. Do note that you won't be getting a free replacement, as from what I know, sellers of Sentai Empire do not offer any warranty. So if you want a permanent fix, either number one, get a one by specific chain ring, or number two, just straight up get a new shifter. Guess which one I went for. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for today's video guys, I hope you have enjoyed or have learned something. If you have, do feel free to leave a like and a subscribe. If you don't want to, it's fine, no worries. But anyways, good night everybody, or good evening. Bye! So say unfortunately you're using Sensor Empire. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now hopefully with this video, you'll be able to reach home safe and sound. Now hopefully you. Now hopefully with this video, you'll be. A now hopefully with this video, you'll be able to reach home safe and sound with broken knees.